Hey guys, welcome to my video blog for today. I think it's day 12 or 13 right now that I'm on. Um, I'm going to get things started. i got some things to cover. I've been eating really healthy lately. Um, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of raw vegetables and a lot of raw meats. And I've found that eating healthy comes with superpowers. Because now I can clear a whole room with a single fart. I have had some rancid gas lately. Thanks to my change diet. Uh, found out uh, today that the girl from True Grit, uh, the remake, is only 14 years old. And I know I'm not an old man, but uh, after finding out, after finding that out, it makes me feel like a dirty old man. I couldn't believe it. I thought she was like a 20-something year old playing a 14. -year -old. I'm not gonna sell myself up the river any further. Um, in other news, uh, Flavor Flav has opened a fried chicken restaurant in, uh, I think it's in Iowa. Um, that is the punchline. That's, that, what else can you say about that? Um, today I was taking driving school, and my plan was to stay up and take driving school all day and finish it off today, because last night it crashed out early and I just didn't do it. So I get to the end of this chapter and it says, Sorry, you have to wait 24 more hours before logging back in and finishing up. So now I'm allocated to doing, to waiting until 6, I think it's 6.53 tomorrow, uh, to finish up traffic school, driving school. So that sucks, um, because I have already pumped myself full of caffeine and will not be able to sleep tonight. Uh, because I had anticipated making it an all-nighter, and so yeah. Um, I found out good news about my trip to Canada. My uh, potential, the the guy, the people, the sports bar that I'm supposed to be working at when I get over there uh, has email or has gotten in contact with my contact, the guy that I'll be living with in Canada, and uh, you know they're getting their their stuff in order because once I get that information from there to here, I can uh, then send the whole packet. Uh, up to I believe it's um, Buffalo, New York, to get my paperwork processed, which is going to take a, a month or more. Um, uh, in magic news, I am not wearing my magic shirt today because they lost to Detroit, which is inexcusable. Um, they need to get their crap together, or else there's going to be big problems. Like I said, they play to the level of the team they're playing against, and um, that's not good especially you know they, they lost to Detroit i will just leave it at that um, that shouldn't have happened uh, they have a game with Chicago coming up I don't know if it's their next game or the one after their next but they need to get their stuff together because Carlos Boozer and Derrick Rose don't play around on the court and if the Magic are playing around on the court then they're gonna have a hard time dealing with uh, the Chicago Bulls um, in movies, I actually watched two movies today. I'm in, and I'm in the middle of another movie right now. I watched a documentary called Restrepo, which is about uh, a battalion of guys that are embedded or that are in uh, Afghanistan in 2007, I believe, and it's just about Americans at war. And, and what their day-to-day -day life is like and it's a really sad documentary and it's a really powerful documentary I give it two thumbs up it's an A plus project everybody should go see it honestly if you have a patriotic bone in your body you owe it to yourself to see this movie uh, the next movie I just got to, finished watching is called Temple Grandin it's about an autistic girl who uh, revolutionizes the treatment of cattle essentially which doesn't sound too interesting but it's a very good film I'd say it's a B plus film I give it thumbs up I give it my recommendation um, uh, in MMA news Herschel Walker says that he wants to play in the NFL again I don't know how the NFL works I don't know if somebody that his, his age can come back and play and if he can pass the tests or whatever I don't know I know he's accepted an MMA that's fine I, I don't care about football so um, whatever do what you want Herschel more power to you um, Tito Ortiz says that regardless of the U U uh, ulti UFC Ultimate Fight Night 24 outcome in his fight versus uh, Lil Nog 
that he will um, continue fighting in mixed martial arts. Whether because if he loses that fight, then he's cut from the UFC. And he said that if he loses that fight and gets cut from the UFC, that he's still going to continue in MMA. More power to you, bro. But you can't beat the back end of a horse right now. Good luck with Little Nog. You're going to get... N that it, it, No, it, it's just not happening. But uh, I'll enjoy seeing you in some other organization in like the Bellator Light Heavyweight Tournament where you'll probably get your butt kicked there too. Tito hasn't been good for four years. And he hasn't won in over five years by the time he gets this next fight against Lil Nog. So, whatever. Um, UFC uh, welterweight, my, uh, Micah, my, Micah. Mike the Joker Guyman has uh, officially retired from mixed martial arts and he says he's at peace with the decision. He's an older uh, fighter anyways. Like I said in the previous vlog, I think he's around 36 in his late 30s. Um, so, it, not terribly surprised. He could, he leaves with, he's leaving the sport with like a 12 and 3 record or 12 and 4 record or 12 and 5 record or something. Good fighter, respectable. Um some people know when to go out, and I think it was his time. He wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna revolutionize his career and come back in his 40s and challenge for the welterweight title. So you know, pull out. You know when it's best. Um, Nate Corey has obviously been retired from mixed martial arts since uh, 2000, either early 2010 or sometime in 2009. And uh, evident, the report is that he's doing good, essentially. Um, there's really nothing more to say about that. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.